Now we got some Kickstarters for you. Oh, we do. Some big old Kickstarters. Uh, this one was actually from last week, but it's it's a big one. Mm -hmm. The Resident Evil 2 board game. Uh, this is coming from the same guys who did the Dark Souls board game, Steamforged games. So they have, you know, whatever your feelings are on that game, they have, they have a track record of handling video game properties. We kind of touched talk about this because they announced it while we were at Gen Con. But uh, said it's based on the video game Resident Evil 2. You have you have characters. You're going around Raccoon City. Mm -hmm. You're fighting zombies. It's fully cooperative. You're you know rolling dice for combat. You can roll to try to dodge and avoid enemies. Uh, there's uh, I'm pretty sure there's campaign and solo play as well. But there's different scenarios and goals and objectives and that kind of thing. Um, and it, uh, the one thing that I thought looked cool about it. Uh, overall is it seems like it's really embracing the survival horror aspect of it where you're going to be worrying about bullets and should I can I fight this enemy because maybe the have gun you will attract played zombies. through all of them I'm just I have I have you know I'm familiar with Resident Evil 2 and other games but I have never really sat down and played through Resident Evil 2 mm -hmm. I, when my first reaction honestly to this was a little disappointed because I feel like the first Resident Evil would make a really great board game because I feel like moving, being in the mansion would be so much fun versus the right. city but I Maybe they thought, oh, there's already Mansions of Madness and Betrayal. Maybe they, that's why they Well, I think there's more, like, better minis in two. Like that Nemesis and stuff. But, you know, I would be Is Nemesis 2, right? Uh, or, no, no he's not. Nemesis is a different Third, Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I'm, mixing, <laughs> I'm, I'm a little fuzzy with the early ones. I, I, I came at four. Right, right. But I would be fine with them saying... It's just Resident Evil, the board game. It's a mansion, and then just you can take zombies or monsters from any of them. You know, I don't see why. It seems very weird. It's a weird decision to me to start with two and just say two rather than just well, all. Resident Evil. To me, Evil. what I think is funny about this is yeah. that you know, as more of a as a Fallout fan, both the miniatures game that we talked about earlier and the new Fancy Flight game that we reported on uh -huh. both said, yeah, we're gonna focus on three and four first, not New Vegas. Right. Or the old ones. So it's like... But, oh, but they're just... They're not... They're called Fallout, right? They're not called Fallout 3 and 4 no, or, as opposed to this. No, but my point is that they're not, yeah. like, focusing on Resident Evil 6. Like, oh, it's interesting it's that they're... the old one is what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. I just yeah. find it very interesting that... <laughs> yeah, it's... I mean, Resident Evil is definitely a... Um, has more well no that's not really true Fallout has they both have lots of nostalgia associated with those older games so I, I mean clearly someone at Steamforge just loves Resident Evil 2 and said this is the one I want to I make mean, a game we don't of. blame you yeah no I mean that's that's cool and and like I said looking at the, it actually does look really fun another thing the game has is a tension deck so at the end of your turn you have to draw it and something bad or horrible might happen or m nothing might happen uh, so, so there's some cool ideas in there uh, and it goes for it's like 90 94 Four dollars. A lot of miniatures. Lots of miniatures, and there's lots of also stretch goals. One of the cool add-ons I liked was a retro pack, mm -hmm. which makes all the items and stuff in the cards actually look like screenshots from the game. <laughs> I think Leon, a Leon miniature was like one of the stretch goals. Like you can get oh, a weird maybe. version of him. Yeah, I don't remember. I know Claire was in this one. I don't remember who else was in too. But anyway, it looks cool. Resident Evil Two. I, if it's successful, I hope they do. But then are they going to do just Resident Evil? And then people are like, wait, <laughs> you started with two? Or are they going to call it Resident Evil The Mansion? Or I, I Honestly, I think if you're a Resident Evil fan, you're not going to complain. That's true. Just for like for someone who doesn't know, it seems like... True, but at that point, you're probably already questioning it now. <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. like, where's one? And then you find a deck building game. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, or if they do, they do four, that would be cool too. I don't know how they do it. All right, so that's Resident <laughs> Evil 2 that's up there right now. Uh, another one from Everything Epic. Yes, uh, we came to you earlier with their Lost Station, and now they have a new one called Coma Ward. Now, in this one, you actually wake up. It's a cooperative game, but you all wake up pretty much in like a, a hospital wing. You know nothing. Okay. <laughs> like, you don't even know who you are. You don't know, like, what's going on. Is it an abandoned hospital? Well, who you know. knows? <laughs> All right. As far as you know, it's empty. I'll just say that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it's up to you, like, to go around and try to find clues, items, try to stay focused, or the tiles can like flip and become. You can see illusions and shit. All right. <laughs> um, and apparently, you also have like little envelopes that will be your personal identities. And if like you solve things, you might find out who you truly are and stuff. Oh. So has this whole like. So is that all not sort of a legacy-ish kind of thing, where like you're not supposed to open the envelope? Yet? I think from what I can tell, it was, I wouldn't say legacy as much as like you'll have more. 
like clue, I guess. Okay. You have like random stuff. You don't know what that is and what you want to do. Okay. But it just to me, I mean, I, for a, when it comes to horror, hospitals are scary. <laughs> so, but the fact that it starts off like white and clean, I think is very interesting. Hmm. So it has much more of that. You're not really sure what's going on yet. What's real, what's not. It's not the obvious like when we uh, talked about uh, and just one uh, lobotomy or like you look around that board. Yeah, bad things are going around. Like, <laughs> yeah, there's no question about it. Is this co-op too? Or? This well, until you find out your identities and stuff. It sort of has oh, that. Oh, a little bit of a mm, haunt mechanic. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But from what I can tell, it's not. A, it's a bit more balanced, obviously, because it's not just randomly what's drawn it's you actually have goals i wonder if there would be um i'm guessing like you could i'm sure you can take out yeah Yeah. i'm I'm sure a lot of them are probably like uh, dead of winter style i didn't want to do too much because once you know that you're like i almost don't want to know the goals and when you get it you're like (laughs) but you know dead of winter it's like you're not the bad guy you just you just want for food right 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 uh so that one is up Mm -hmm. for 50 bucks yep which is a pretty good price sounds like a lot of fun they make great games everything epic Mm -hmm. uh now, speaking of hospitals, <laughs> <laughs> a more positive a version. A less scary version of a hospital. Uh, talk to me about Dice Hospital. Yeah, you are each running a hospital, and there are patients who will be the dice. And you roll okay. them, and they're pretty much <laughs> how healthy they are. Um, is the number of dots on them. Okay. So, you know, six, they're good. One, not so good. <laughs> So it's up to you. There's like a bidding of who goes first by the ambulance. Like if you want to go first, you're taking the ambulance as the worst patients on them. So it's like a balancing of where do you want placement versus healthy patients. Okay. <laughs> and it has you're gonna get be getting uh, you know experts and building up your hospital to get certain rooms to help heal people and get them quicker out of the hospital, okay. back up to six, or they die. <laughs> obviously, <laughs> if you wait that. too long. So it looked like a really fun sort of uh, worker placement die management kind of system that huh. looked really cool. Yeah, no, I mean, that's I, the idea of the rolling the die is hilarious. Uh, they need to do the expansion add, like, 20-sided dice. <laughs> no, what I was hoping that some of the dice would just be, like, one and two. Like, you're, <laughs> it's, it's bad. <laughs> They're not good. It's just, it's a coin. <laughs> uh, now, Dice Hospital undercuts Come Award by $1. It's only $49. So they were really trying to get into that hospital craze. It's a competitive market oh, yeah. right now on Kickstarter. Uh, and finally, this one is sort of an accessory. It is the Game Folio 2.0. Uh, so they had this already. This is the new, upgraded, enhanced versions of the Game Folio. It is... Uh, they have various bags and containers to hold your board games either for travel or just for organization's sake, you know, whatever reason that you want. Uh, and they have all kinds of pouches in them, different options for like foam bits to store minis in, uh, sleeve holders, all that kind of stuff that you would want. Yeah, and what's really nice is the pledge levels. They have a lot of levels for whatever your bag needs. Like yeah. these are designed if. You can get one if you're more of a card person, you know, if you're more of the board game person, if you are more of the minis person. Like, they made a wide variety there to help fit your need. There's a uh, $20 one for, like, small games, and it goes up to, like, their large sizes, like $80, and then they have bundles you can mix and match. So, yeah, it's really whatever you, whatever suits the kind of games that you have or are taking with you, uh, you can pick what you want. Uh, I don't know what, as far as I know, you don't have any kind of thing like this, right? Unless you count the really cheap tote bags I have. Yeah, that's what we, we uh, you know, we've seen a bus, several of these Kickstarters with various different types of organization things for different purposes, uh, and we never have used any of them. We're always just carrying our board games around like Oh, well, like that's, uh, I'll admit, there's, a, there's like an 80% reasoning is just the money that would go to this, I'm like, I already spent on board games. <laughs> right. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. For, like, I think this is really cool, but for me personally, also, like, part of it is honestly... I uh, I don't it's sort of maybe it's like a collector mentality or thing where I like having it in the box and I it, like if I was really going on a vacation and wanted well, to pack a bunch maybe but just taking to someone's house I want to well, have a box. I think two of the reasons is where we live where, like I would probably get this if I lived in a city because mm-hmm. I'm more like walking around with it and stuff. Yeah, that's but true. we live in more of a suburb rural area and. We're either usually where my collection is or your collection is. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, there's not as much to worry about. We're not, we don't have as many people who use as our gaming area, so. 
Yeah, let us know what you think about that. But if you are looking for a board game bag, these guys do a pretty great job from, from what we've seen. It's 2.0, so you mm -hmm. know they're successful. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, it was just a snippet of our full-length podcast, which you can find on our YouTube channel every week. So please go ahead, like, and subscribe for more board game-related content coming at you in the future. And don't forget to check out RollForCrate.com, where we actually sell a lot of the games we talked about, as well as post news and all our other videos. Until then, I'm Will Keeler. I'm Jonathan Estes, and this is Roll for Crit.